Don't just think. Thinking is easy. The cheapest thing to do. They say think and grow rich. But I'm saying think, ponder, and grow rich. And then don't just take give. Many people come, oh, what is what can the business do for me? What can the business do for me? You, the business can never do anything for you until you take the business and go and do something for some people's life. Okay, then now is the time for you to take your time to give time to others. Don't just see, feel. Do not come and just see and say, oh, I clap for people. Wow, wow, this guy is driving Ferrari. That guy is driving Lamborghini. This guy, wow, wow, fantastic. Don't just see, feel the business. One day I'm also going to drive the Ferrari. One day I'm also going to do that. Feel that what they are doing. And don't just dream, do. We can become dreamers of life or we can just do what dreamers do. Okay, you can become dreamers for the rest of your life, but you can also take this chance and become a doer. And don't just hear, listen. This is what I keep on, I keep repeating, repeatedly I'm saying. All of us, we in school, at school level, why we don't get the grades that we are supposed to get because we didn't, we didn't listen to the teacher. We hear, we try to hear the teacher, but hearing is always disrupted by our mind. But listen, listen with your heart, okay? Don't just talk, act. If I'm talking to you, I must earn my rights to talk to you. I cannot simply come and talk to you. In today's world, people ask you, are you doing it? Are you doing that? So I earn my rights. I have been in this industry for 36 years. I've seen the ups and downs. I've seen everything. So I'm good at work, at advocate of network marketing industry. And then I earned my rights the last three years to talk about super life. Okay, because I grew myself from zero to hero in super life also. So I learned, earn my rights. So you must not just talk and tell people what they can do. You must also act. And don't just tell, show them. Now is the time for you to show them and don't just exist, leave. Okay, so before I call upon Nick Lim, after listening to Nick Lim, after listening to Warren, what must you all do? 2021 is open for everyone. It's a super highway for everyone. And in this super highway, you can walk beside the highway and be scared of the highway. Normally we go beside the highway, we are very scared. We don't want to go into the highway because everything is moving faster. But if you're in the car in the highway, then you feel safer. If you're inside a car, you'll be safer. I repeat that. If you're on a highway, if you're walking beside the highway, you'll be very scared. Because you're scared, maybe the cars might miss the road and hit you. So you always, but if you're on the highway in a car, then you will be the safer spot. Because you, you know you are in a car, you'll be safe. You can cruise in the highway. Then, Number two, you can be in the highway. If you are going on the fast lane, you are still safe. But if you are driving a small car and going on the slow lane, and if you are going the same small car, you are taking into the fast lane, then you have to be very, very careful. You will be very scared to take the small car into the fast lane. So what happens? You must take a car with speed. You must have a speed car for a super highway. The, the fastest highway in the world is called Autobahn. And Autobahn is actually in, in Germany. To get into the car, you cannot be less than 200, 200 uh, miles per hour. It must be more than 200 miles per hour. And anyone who are slow, slow there, they are not allowed. Many people who are like one teacher recently died in uh, maybe about one year, two year ago in the Autobahn because you're trying to drive slow. So no slow drivers are allowed that. So Superlife is now going at that kind of speed, Autobahn, and it's going on a truck. If you want to get in here, then you must learn how to go into the track well. So leaders lead, momentum lead the leader. The momentum in Super Life is very high. Why Nick Lim can come and do in a short, short period of time? Because all of us have created a momentum for him. So go not on the byway, don't go on the, beside the highway. Go not on the subway, try to not, not to go under the highway, but the super highway or super life by getting into a super truck called super life truck. That's why we are encouraging you. How do you do that? After you listen to nickname, after you listen to Warren, after you listen to a few people sharing, you just have to write this down. You can begin this year empty like this. Many, many people don't get anything by end of the year because they also keep their year end empty like this. Then they say, okay, 2022, I'm going to change my life again. You can begin the year empty like this. You can end the year empty. I'm asking you after this session tonight, don't empty it. You can take a picture of this or you can write this down and somewhere and then do it on yourself. When I was young at 22 years old, I call this focus card. 
I used to carry in my pocket this focus card. Every time somebody says no to me, and I said, he is not telling no to me, he's telling no to his family, his future. But I'm going to get a yes for my this. I call this focus card. Someone says no, I feel dejected, I look at the card. Because I'm not working for him. He's not my boss. In our business, your upline is not your boss. Your sponsor is not your boss. Your people who are working with you down there, they are not your boss. Your company, the company owner is not your boss. In fact, if you call them chief boss and all that, it's they are this thing. We don't have to don't don't have, don't need all the titles. But in this business, your dream is your boss. Your goals are your boss. So wake up your goal and work for your goal. And that is your boss. My goal by 31st December 2021, I'm giving you an example. Because this year, Dominator team's uh, main aim is to crown B1 2021. Our team this year is crowned B1 2021. So you must say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm earning USD 100,000 as a crown diamond in Super Life business with a team of global business builders and with a team members throughout the world. Nobody can stop you from writing this. Only you. Why not you write? One of the favorite songs for me is Dr. Alban song in 1992. And again in 2000, as another song was written also, the same title. And Dr. Alban called it, It's My Life in 1992. And then in, in the year 2000, it was uh, Bon Jovi who wrote the title also, It's My Life. During this COVID-19 now, nobody cares for you. Not even the government, not even anybody. We have to take care of ourselves. It's our life. And that's the best thing you should do for yourself. Your personal life, most of us, especially young people, all the young people, all the old people, everyone's life has disrupted personal-wise, career-wise, and health-wise, and travel-wise, and everywhere we have been affected. So we have to take care of our lives ourselves, guys. So you have to write this down. If you don't write this down, then if you come and attend this talk, and then you go out of this talk, and then you come again, nothing will happen for you. I repeat that. You can come week in, week out. You can come and listen to all the talks. But if you don't do this, you don't write down your boss, then the universe cannot help you. You are not working for the company. Someone asked me some time back, Dr. Maha, if I want the company to pay me every month 20,000 or 10,000, what must I do? I said, the company is not going to pay you. Why you work for the company? That's employee attitude. You work for yourself. If you want to earn 20,000, come and ask me, how can I do 20,000? I want to be my boss of my 20,000. Your people down there, they are not going to make the 20,000 for you. Remember, let me repeat that for you. You see, many people think, oh, I'm going, I'm my, the guys up there are going because of me. No, no above, no below, but you. You are the guy who are going to decide your success. If you say you're going to make 100,000, you will make the 100,000. And those people who start with you, there's no necessary, they must finish with you. Someone somewhere out there will come and join you anytime. So you cannot say that this, I'm depending on my success on these guys below me. No, never do that. I'm depending on my success the guy above me. No, you're only depending on the guy within you. If you really understand that power, that is the power that is going to make you successful in this business, guys. That's why I always say, some will, some won't, so what, share more. People will come, people will go. And that is the process. And you cannot stop those people who are coming, neither should you stop those people who are going. If they come and they make the money, they enjoy the money, one day they say they want to go and do something else, say bye-bye to them, no problem. Don't curse them, don't condemn them. And But work with those guys who are working with you, always. So super life, life is super. I've taken my time now to prepare your mindset. Now, let me introduce this guy, okay? This gentleman, Nick Lim. I'll be the right person to introduce him simply because I, I, I identified him. He was, about, he was with her sometime before this COVID-19 and all. But when the day he came for my SOP, he came to the office for the presentation, I always have this gut level feeling that when I feel, see a leader, I know he's a leader. And then I told him, the person who brought him, I said, this young man is going to be a top leader one day. Just watch with him, work with him. And then he came, he was just floating. But when this COVID-19 happened, I took him up one day. I had a talk to him heart to heart in Zoom. And then I said, just focus on Zoom. And Zoom is going to take people globally. And he is the icon. In 2021, we created a technopreneur icon. 
I make him to become the icon for Zoom. In fact, he's the first Zoom Pruno, young Zoom Pruno that we created. That year, I created that in March 2020, I created two icons for Zoom Pruno. One from Malaysia, Mr. Nick Lim, and then one from India. And in India, that gentleman was a businessman and a top level income earner. So I said, I can, we can also do with people like that. And then in Malaysia, I created this young man. So ladies and gentlemen, without much ado, I, I, I on behalf of my co-host, Darwina, who's going to assist me to our okay? I call upon Mr. Nick Lim. Nick Lim, over to you. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Maha. So can you hear me? Is it yes, okay? loud and clear. All right, okay, hello everybody. Okay, so basically my name is Nick and I'm actually 23 years old this year. So I'm actually just gonna share roughly like how am I doing this business until up to date. All right, so I actually joined this business, honestly telling you guys, I joined this business on 2018, but I've done nothing with this business. I've never do any prospecting. I've never introduced anyone. I just went to Dr. Ma SOP. And when I walked into the office, I was like, Oh my God, am I the only Chinese? Okay, so, but I'm not the racist kind where I have a lot of Indian friends and I'm a kind of mixed because I do not know how to speak Mandarin at first. Then on 2020 March, where before the COVID-19, Dr. Maha, Mr. Nadan, they called me up and they actually told me, all right, it's time for you to start Nick. All right, maybe you should consider. So I would, I would say at that time, at that moment, point of time, this is the only chance that I can actually make money without going out of the house. Because as you guys know, this is a networking industry. All right. So don't be afraid that if you don't go off the house, you cannot make money because I would actually let you know. I'm very happy to meet Zoom where actually Dr. Maha taught me how to use Zoom. Okay. Although he's 50 over years old, I'm not sure how old is he. And I'm 23 years old, but he's the one, he's the man who actually taught me how to use Zoom. Okay. So at the first time when I start doing my presentation, I failed. Okay, I telling you, I failed a couple of times where I can actually approximately almost 500 members, not 500 members, 500 people came for my presentation. All right, none of them joined my presentation. Okay, so I believe if you were me today, you would give up because you have done 500 presentation and none of them believe you, none of them trust you. But today, most of the, most of you, you would say, all right, Try starting from your family. Try starting from your best friend. I'm telling you, my life is so miserable where I have no friend join me. All right, my best friend. My best friend don't join me. My family don't join me. I'm the only one which is going to do this business. Although this business is introduced by my mom. Okay, so when I start this business during the pandemic, all right, that at that moment, I do one-to-one -one presentation. And then I found out that I actually grow too slow where I feel it's not too, uh, how to say, it's not giving me an advantage where I have to spend at least 10 minutes per presentation daily, every day, and I'm not getting enough sleep, all right? So I'm trying to look at Dr. Maha presentation, all right? All the time when Dr. Maha called me up, all right? Because I'm the one that I don't talk too much, all right? When people talk to me, if I don't feel good, I will scold them, okay? So Dr. Maha plugged me to a presentation. I remember once it's in Nigeria. It's a Friday midnight at 2 a.m. in the morning, all right? It's my first, uh, first speech and I was gobbling. I'm so afraid. My hand was shaking. My leg was shaking, all right? And I can't even speak to actually... If you have 20 people in a presentation, I do not know you. I tell you, I can't even speak a word out. But today, I'm proud to say, all right, because of this Zoom presentation and because of how Superlife has trained people, how Superlife has actually have a system, all right, where all the leaders has already faced all the problems that you are already facing now, okay? So don't think that they are actually success, so they are making so much money because of us. But you must know that success, behind the success, there's failures, all right? To understand the word of success, you need to fail first because only you fail, you will success. All right. So how do I do presentation? Normally, I would say, all right, uh, every day until today, I'm still doing daily presentation at nine o'clock. All right. Where I start my presentation punctual. And at the first day, I actually didn't pay my Zoom and it only took 40 minutes for my presentation. Okay. Where if we pay, then it can go longer. But then at that time, it's like I have no confidence. So I just go for 100 participants. All right. At the moment of time when I start the first day, suddenly, all of a sudden, I'm not sure why, all right? After four months in Superlife doing pre, uh, private presentation, 
all of a sudden 100 percent 100 participants that day okay so i did the presentation and god bless i'm not sure why maybe with the god's grace all right i managed to how to say get 60 sign up that day which is more than 50 percent all right where i'm actually very grateful because for every presentation i make i want just 10 percent 10 percent is good enough i do not need all i just need 10 percent okay so how do i do this presentation so basically uh when we have we are alone all right i know it's quite hard but then i would say with social media today it's not hard at all you just need to build a brand of yourself all right how do we call it as branding because i realized not only other team all right even my team members some of them they open their instagram open their linkedin open their facebook nothing there we can't see anything some of them put funny funny photos on their whatsapp uh, profile photos where you don't even gain trust from people you know when people connect to you they won't actually listen what you say they will just oh, okay and just uh, see what you're writing and just go away again just go away all right so just create a brand of yourself when you start creating a brand that's where people will come to you all right so when people come to you slow day by day maybe two percent three percent four percent work with them closely all right the secret of it is i telling you all my downliners all my prospects all my how to say uh team members i treat them as my brother or sister or younger sister or my mother or my father because some is also elder than me all right so i treat them like my own family where i actually connect with them almost every day like how dr ma connect with me okay so just build the relationship all right so once you have the brand, build the relationship, then come to the business, all right? Because business is always at the end. I would say business is always on the end. The first one is branding is a must. People will trust you to buy this plan. Then only they will see the business, all right? So from that on, how to bring people to the easily, I would say you tag people, you message people. Daily do this every day. Five person a day is good enough, all right, for each person. All right, you can go more, you can go less, it depends on you. But I believe some people say sometimes it's so hard to get five people, all right. But I would like to ask you one question Where are you living now? In your neighborhood? Are they in super life? If they are not in super life, go for them, all right, because I can tell you in my whole house, there's 12 houses here, and actually 10 houses is in super life right now in, in my team okay where i'm actually quite proud of it because at the first time when i rang the bell all right they didn't want to care me but i keep on going keep on going in this during this pandemic situation i just go nearby my house all right so you can use social media how to use social media you go to facebook you just add them all right so what do i mean as tag tagging as in post some photos regarding super life tag them into it or give them some videos all right so once you tag them of course you have to message them all right so when you message them actually give them the feeling as uh you do not want to sell them all right just give them a uh, feeling that you want to give them an opportunity okay but in deep down you actually want to sell them okay so just twist and put all right you will actually do it one day and i would like to say when you bring your people to the presentation all right whatever you say you have to do it all right because I realized some of my team members, that's why until today, I'm still doing the presentation. When they do the presentation, they tend to, to how to say, talk too much about the business, all right? Talk how great are they? But at the end of the day, when people need help, people come and find them, people come and text them, they do not care them, all right? They just throw them aside. You just follow this and you do this. They did not, they did not give them, a, how to say, a alternative to do the business, all right? So whatever you say in the presentation, you have to help them. That's my only key point where you want to grow a big team, you have to do this. Then the second point is, once you plug them to into business, all right? I believe everyone is born to be a leader, but to be a leader, they have to be trained. Am I right? So don't let them do presentation by themselves. All right. You know why? All right. Because I believe maybe you do not agree to me. Maybe you agree to me, but this is how I think. All right. So if you think it's okay, then it's okay. All right. So when you bring them to the presentation, all right, when once they join you, then you present to them. All right. Ask them, do daily presentation for them, regardless one person, two person, do the presentation how busy are you don't care just spend around 40 minutes to one hour a day 40 minutes of one and an hour a day can actually finish your presentation am i right one hour if you just need to spend uh in one day 
one day, one hour. If you have 30 days, you only spend 30 hours. If 30 hours can give you five figure, what's the problem to say no? Am I right? Okay. So when you help them to do presentation, of course, the most important part, make it as attractive as possible. Okay. How do I mean it as, as attractive as is possible? Look at Dr. Maha. All right. His age is 58. I don't, I'm not sure. All right. 50 over years old. All right. But how he speaks. Let me, let right? me help you. Let me help you. 59. 59. All right. <laughs> okay. 59 years old. How he do presentation. Did you realize his intonation never stops? Never go down. His intonation is either the same or it goes up. All right. Don't speak too soft. Make it as exciting as, as possible. For presentation, for me, I would say presentation is just get to give them the excitement, to give them the better idea of the company, to let them know about the marketing plan. But the most important part, which is the closing. Closing, I would say you can actually invite a leader your sponsor to come in to speak a few words all right make sure it's boom like very powerful all right and then you've done the presentation after the presentation you need to tell them all right to look for people look to the look for them that join the presentation ask them what do you think about the presentation is it all okay all right so most people will say uh i'm not i'm not quite sure about this business all right what is this? Why is that? All right. Just explain to them in brief, but not too brief. Miss elaborate as much as possible. What do I mean as elaborate as much as possible? Which means today when people say, okay, if I join as a super package today, someone asks you, if I join as a super package today, can I make million? All right. Most of you, or most of you say, yes, we can make million. But for me, how would I actually reply people is, yes, you can make millions with us when the team is together with you and you'll get a fully support from the team when you join us, all right? Which feels more comfortable, all right? I just ask you, number A or B, all right? You say it short or you say it longer. So just explain longer, make them feel comfortable. When they listen to how you speak to them, when they listen your professionalism, definitely they will join you. All right. So once you ask that, the second thing I will always ask people, do you think this business can make money? All right. If they say all good, do you think this business can make money? All right. If people say, yes, this business can make money, I would definitely say, when do you want to join us? Do you want us to join us now? Because time is short. Okay. So just join us now and you will actually, uh, how to say, benefit us from Dominator Super Life. All right. So most of them say, Okay, why not just let me think about it first or another few days, I'll come back to you, all right? I will never do that, you know, because I know when people say after a few days, you come back to me, they will never come back. So what I would say is, all right, you said this business can make money, but you're still telling me that you want to think about it. So I'm not quite sure what you're thinking right now, but I'm pretty sure that you're actually afraid that you can't prospect someone, all right? Because I'm telling you, Supply system is actually a money making system to change lives. All right. So it's definitely 100%. If you understand the system and if you trust the person who bring you in, that means the people trust you that you bring you in. All right. They will definitely show you, join you. But the only thing is, it's because they are afraid to prospect someone. So when they are afraid to prospect someone, just ask them, is it that you are afraid that you can't introduce someone to the business? All right, so they would definitely say yes. I'm telling you, out of 10, eight will say yes. All right, so when they say yes, explain again. All right, tell them how are you doing this business? Tell them how many people is changing lives? Tell them how young people can actually make five figure every month. All right, just give them the confidence. All right, so I will not actually take so much time because I have a presentation at nine o'clock. But before I finish this, I would say uh, you have to put a goal for yourself. It's a must, all right? Because me personally, I do goals every day. Why? Because I do presentation every day and I want at least 100 people to join me daily, all right? Because I have 500 people in my presentation and I would say if there's less than 50 people who join, I will feel very bad for the team. I would say, maybe I do something wrong. I have to change myself, all right? Always ask your leaders, how's your presentation? Okay? Because when your leaders are listening to you, they will feel the excitement. So the excitement is the most important part. All right. So just set your goal. 
set how many people you're going to message today, how many people you're going to add today and tag today. All right. So basically, I would say that's all for me today. And I would like to actually just show you a sneak peek. All right. Because I have a presentation at nine o'clock. How many people do you think is coming to my presentation daily? All right. I'm honestly telling you, people are telling me, all right, you are at 23 years old. You just joined the business, maybe 100 or 200. But I'm telling you, you are wrong because my presentation is maximum 500 every day new customers all right because in my presentation i don't let those how to say existing uh as existing team member to join if there's space you join if not don't join but up to date no one is actually uh have space to join also so you can see now it's at 8 45 pm all right i'm not going to brag too much all right just give you a sneak peek to give you a motivation all right just remember attack message and you can see here all right it's actually 369 people now all right at 8 46 pm okay so i would say how do i do this add tag a message make sure everyone at least bring two or more people to your presentation the more the merrier the higher the chances to close them all right so basically that's all for me all right and thank you very much and super life life is super i wish everyone that achieve your crown diamond by this year all right, so pass over to Dr. Maha. Okay, Nick, uh, five minutes for question before you go. All right, five all right, no problem. Okay. If anyone got any question, I saw just now Gladys asked her, she's got a question. Um, if you all ask questions, it will take time because you'll talk, you can write down the question here, quick one. Any question you have, you can write it down so that, and we will address the question for you to him. Okay, so quick one, if any questions, you can ask, uh, write it down because when you ask, you put in a lot of uh, emotion to it, then it takes longer time. Okay, so can you all write down the question? How does he brand himself? Okay, one of the questions, uh, Nick Lim, how, how does he brand him, himself? That's a question they're asking. All right, how does he brand himself? Yeah, all right. So, mm. how I do you do say, branding? Okay, how do I do branding? Uh? All uh, right, so I would say today, your social media have to be perfect. My social media is not perfect, I know, all right, because I see some of the leaders, their social media is really perfect, where you can actually pick and pluck, all right, which means you can go other people post, get their posting, just borrow it from them, let them know, respect them, all right, give, letting them know that you're actually using the photo. Mm -hmm. Is it okay to use the photo? Make your Instagram as beautiful as possible. It's like your team, all right? Make it like it's your team, all right? Because people wouldn't know when they come in, they will just see you, am I right? So just make it, it's like your team, all right? I will always say, fake it till you make it, all right? Fake it as in, don't make it so, how to say, uh, impossible, all right? That means if you fake it, at least you fake something that is, uh, that you can actually achieve it. Okay, so how do I brand myself? I would say my team helped me to brand me, all right, because they normally tag me, they talk good stuff about me, and they actually, we build a repo, you know, okay, where we will sometimes we have an open Zoom discussion for other company members to come in, all right. So I would always do, uh, how to say, coaching, trainings, give them ideas, and last but not least, I would like to say, read more. Okay, you have to read more. Every leaders are readers. Okay, just remember this. Every leaders are readers. If you do not like to read, go to YouTube. Look for ideas. All right, you can go there. Okay, so basically this is how I brand myself. Then, okay, how do you brand yourself? Where do you find... Okay, where do you find how to get all those 100 new people to come to your presentation if you're new? All right. And Janice is asking, okay. Okay, so basically I would say just uh, blast it, all right? Make it look, your post, your posting material, all right? Make it as attractive as possible, all right? One thing that I always do is, all right, I will post regarding about money, all right? Because no one on earth, when they see money, they don't come to you. Believe me or not, all right? If you post something about money, they will come to you, all right? And when you write the code, all right? Don't say, uh, all right, this is how much I make today. Don't make it too, how to say, uh, impossible, all right? You can say, come and join us, all right? And you will feel the wealth. It's for free, all right? Then bring them to the presentation, okay? So I would say for me, myself, how did I do it is I add everyone on Facebook. I message everyone one by one daily. 
All right. Okay. So they want to know your Instagram ID. My Instagram ID, yeah. I think so it's there, but in your name, huh? I yeah, it's there, lah, alright. Uh, somehow you will find me, alright? Okay. Nickname, somehow if you are lucky, idea. you'll find me, okay? And but I'm honestly telling you guys, why am I here today? Is because of Team Dominator, Dr. Maha. All right, I would like to actually uh, say thank you very much to Dr. Maha because uh, during this pandemic, all right, I made more money than so many old people out there. Okay, mm -hmm. which I'm actually very proud of it because I would say my income on, uh, how to say, daily, my monthly income now is actually fixed five figure. And I'm proud to say it's 15,000 ringgit Malaysia and above. Okay, and I'm actually hitting my Emerald uh, rank very soon. All right, hopefully before March, which I actually target myself, then it's three months from Ruby to Emerald. Okay, so that's all for me, Dr. Ma. All right, okay. So that is Nick Lim, okay, and um, somebody said you want to share about product, you know, product is next week, this week is all about uh, bringing young people, okay, Gladys, if you're product sharing, you can do that next week, okay, you can you can share about products next week, okay, and then, um, so I'm going to call upon um, Darwina, Darwina, you, 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 uh, you can ask any questions to Nick Lim, uh, Nick Lim also before he leaves, okay. Yeah, so um, I actually thank you for the opportunity. So Nick, I just mm. want to ask you something. Uh, yeah. When you say that you are approaching people, right, every single day, like roughly to five to ten people, but then um, how exactly that you are uh, texting to that prospect? Is that by uh, creating a, like a statement or uh, anything, or just by uh, starting with hi, how are you doing like that? All right, I will say uh, hi, how are you? Are you interested to make some passive income? All right, maybe it will be an, a great opportunity for you. I will go directly straight forward. I wouldn't say that my name is Nick and this, 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 I'm doing this, no. I will go directly straight, all right? My type is I'm a straightforward guy where I will just straight to my point, just text everyone like that, all right? All right, all right, all right. That's okay, nice. one more question here, Nick, before you go. Right. Uh, okay. If I'm prospecting on social media, is it good to introduce myself or the business? All right, introduce yourself first, all right, because people want to trust you. People trust the business is their problem, okay? But today, when people buy the package, it's because they trust you, then the company. I would definitely say why most of you join is because you guys trust the person who present to you, am I right? Okay, so I would always say this, people will trust you, then the company. But I would say the company, there's 100% no problem. Huh? The company is always there. The company is super duper good, all right? But you yourself, you have to make a change, all right? So I believe everyone can actually do this. And last but not least, when you do closing, all right, never ever use text message. Use either voice message or use either call. Never ever use text. I would 100% telling you that if I use text message today, I will not able to close anyone. Okay, because you can try it out. All right, then you just let your leaders know. All right, although if it's actually uh, working or not. All right, use voice message or by calling. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Okay. So that is Nick Lim for you guys. And um, any other thing? Because we are going to have a coaching session, training session on the how to do, why to do, and what not to do, because uh, uh, the Coach Warren will be here. He is a young man's coach, okay? He's a youth coach. So he'll be coming to coach and guide you on that, okay? So Darvina, can you check if he's here? Then you can introduce him afterwards. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, yes. Chief Warren is here. All right. Okay, thank you, Nick Lim, for your time, uh, for sharing with us. And you know what I like about Nick Lim is, uh, whatever that I taught him, whatever I reached him, he's practicing it. You see, people can guide you, people can teach you. If you don't put to practice, then you cannot, you cannot help you, cannot guide you. Someone asked a question here. If people say they don't have money, you see, why people say don't have money? Emotion opens the wallet. Uh, logic opens the mind. Emotion opens the wallet. People will never part the money with you if you do not open them up emotionally. Okay, so that's, that's where money people put the money as a problem. Sometimes money may not be the problem. They just want to give that an excuse to get away from us. Some people will say, let me talk to my wife. But they will never ever talk to their wife. They just want to get rid of us. So you just need to get yourself emotionally moved to move them emotionally. Okay, so thank you, Nick Lim. And he has understood that. And a lot of things like he shared, leaders are readers, all that because he has been following and he is doing. Okay, so you learn, you learn, 
and you do and you can earn okay so next uh, darwina you can introduce the next person Yes, I feel so. I'd be honored to do that. And uh, basically, guys, uh, uh, the next session is going to be a uh, more even powerful impact because uh, one of the co-founder is going to be here. Okay, he's here already. And this session is going to be how you want, how you can uh, keep yourself into track in this industry and how to do closing and some other um, powerful knowledge as well. So when I want to introduce, I will really will say he's a people's uh, lovable person. Okay, at the same time, Einstein of a team dominator. Why? Because he simply create a very uh, formulas that makes you to uh, to earn more than three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars or whatever amount that you want to hit for every month. You just ask him, and he will just create very powerful formula to you. And when you do that, definitely you achieve that as well. But uh, all of this. Rather than I just introduce a form further, I would love to introduce Chief Varan, one of the co-founder of Team Donator. Hey, let me make him a co-host. Okay, okay. Forward, right? uh -huh. okay Varan, you are a co-host now. Okay. Hi, sir. Hi. Hi. Life is super. Super life, life is super. Vatina Mike Vatina Chiam. Okay, keep rocking. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for inviting in, inviting for the wonderful uh, coaching session of the week. It's really a pleasure to be here because uh, every week where, when we, the coaching session is came, people are getting excited because they want to learn something new. And uh, every week is compulsory because uh, a person, when you enter network marketing, training is important. But here in every week, once we are conducting a coaching session, a weekly, a monthly once we are conducting a training, it's really great, great for everyone to get a very good, very good knowledge and very good skills for them to in, in a very good track and achieve their dreams and goals, right? Okay, uh, what I'm going to share with you guys, and most of the people I'm um, usually, uh, when I uh, talk to them, they are, they are asking only question is, uh, gee, how, how to face the rejection? So what is the reject? What is the rejection you facing? What is the rejection? How how I'm going to face this kind of rejection when the prospect said no? When the prospect said uh, this kind of reason and everything? How I am going to uh, counter them to get into the track? So very simple. You don't need to counter anyone to get into the track. Just go and approach them in the right way, and definitely they will come in the track. Because example, if you most the people I'm um, say uh, when you approach people prospects, so people are saying okay, I'm, I'm, as, as uh, Nick Lim said just now said, uh, some people are saying that I don't have money and everything. Guys, only one thing that we need to understand in network marketing, we are giving opportunity. We are not begging to anyone. You have to understand this. We are giving opportunity to people to empower their lifestyle to create them to better opportunity all right so that is the main fundamental that we are giving to everyone so we need to understand network marketing is opportunity provider of course i'm selling some people asking what are we are we selling products or not or are we selling company or not of course we are selling but we are selling opportunity not products we do have the product the product automatically sell itself when you become membership, the product automatically sell itself. So our main intention is selling opportunity. So we have to understand we are selling the opportunity. When you face the rejection, okay, most of the people are doing prospects. So maybe one day they are approaching a five to ten people. Guys, if you your your five to ten people, your margin rate is a one person reply for yes, one one person reply yes for you. That means it's not enough for you to approach a day ten people or five people. You need to go for more than 30 or 50 people a day. Then only you can see at least one people reply or say yes to you. If you're out of the 30, you only get one S mean how many people you need to approach a day, how many people you approach a week. Just imagine one day you approach, you're, you're saying uh, 10 people, you test, one day you're approaching 10 prospects. One week you already have a 70 people. Out of the 70 people, maybe a three or four say yes to you. That means your activities is not equivalent to your goal. Your activity is not is, uh, in, the, in the right track. If you want to see the, at least a week at 70, yes, go for 700 approach, approach. My dear friends, we are not in the old trend. We are in the social media trend. Today is everything easy. You can even one day can approach 100 people through social media. Everything in your hand. You know, when I started network marketing in the 2010, when I start my, I think Dr. Maha and all the experienced leaders know that. When my my journey, when I start network marketing, there is no technology which is currently we have. There's no WhatsApp, there's no Facebook, there's no social media support. Only I have in SMS 
only I can send SMS. When I want to get a new prospect, I need to go and approach a stranger market in, in, this, in the public area. I need to go and just one person, I just in front of me, one person is sitting and, and eating in the restaurant. I just keep smile and then I get eye to eye contact. Then after that, I go and approach them. That's how I'm approaching previously. That's how all, most of the main leaders are approaching previously. But now everything has changed. You don't need to go and hunting people. The people will hunt for you for the opportunity. We are in that particular industry, my dear friend. And most of the people think this is the uh, business platform. If you ask me, I will tell this is the career platform. Take it network marketing as a career. And if you want a higher job, you want to, you want to, okay, one person want to come for interview. You are the boss. You one person want to come for interview. You already uh, uh, give the, you already see their resume and everything. You, you already give them to appointment to attend the interview. The person say, I cannot attend. And he said, uh, I only can uh, do the interview through online. Is that possible? The person get the job? Definitely. The, if the person want the job, mean they have to come, they have to listen the interview, they have, they have to answer all the necessary answers, then only they will get the job. Same goes to opportunity. If the person really is serious about the opportunity, definitely they will come for you. Our, our job is give them in a the right way, promote them in a the right way, our business opportunity, definitely the people will come. And if you keep uh, facing a rejection, my dear friend, always think this. Rejection is recharge your action. Rejection means recharge your action. Don't ever fear for the rejection. If you don't have rejection, my dear friend, what is your success story? When you are, once you achieve your success based on your failure, your failure based on your success. If you really understand what is failure, that means you know how to going to be achieve your big victory. Failure is a boost for your, your it's a, it's a, it's a boost up you. It's always boost you to become success. You give, you give, uh, it's always boost your burning desire. So I want to achieve something. That is the only industry which is, can create a failure person to become successful entrepreneur. I guarantee can say that. Because myself and all the Dr. Mahal, Chief Mohan, everybody, when we are in previously, we are also in another network marketing company. Previously, I was in another network marketing company. I was a successful, successful uh, achiever over there. And once upon a time, I dropped everything. I was back to street. I, I lost everything back to zero. Even I lost my car, I lost my house, everything I lost, I back to zero. And then I start back super live. When I get super live world, I'm zero person. I don't have anything. Even I don't have motorbike to... Uh, go to the shop. I used to walk. I used to walk. And the the person who previously see me uh, using the BMW, after that I'm the the same person seeing me uh, walking to the shop. What they will think? Definitely they will think this person is just show off all these things. Now is the get the lessons all right. But what I'm I feel myself, it's all part of the journey. It's a part of the uh, boost for yourself to get more and fight fight for your birthright. So when I get opportunity, so when I get super opportunity, I, I only decide one thing. I want to achieve this industry. I have to prove myself, no matter what, no matter how many rejection I'm going to face, only one thing I believe that I'm going to achieve. So rejection, every rejection is part of my success journey. Every rejection is a boost up for me. If you are ready to face at least thousand rejection, my dear friend, when you when you complete your thousand rejection, you already become multi-millionaire in this industry. Ready to face thousand rejection. So rejection is always rejection means recharge your action. Rejection means recharge your action. Don't give any uh, your don't give any uh, what. Uh, excuse for your rejection that your rejection make you to feel down. No. Suppose your rejection make you to feel even faster. Right? So if if someone say, uh, cannot, I cannot, I, I cannot join or even I don't have money. Guys, you can simply can tell that. You can create the urgency to your prospect. If let's say example, I am a prospect. Someone giving giving me the uh, someone giving to me the opportunity. So I'm already seeing the opportunity. Everything is okay. We're fantastic plan, fantastic marketing plan. But still, I'm saying I don't have money. 
even though i i i if i i i try to find the money definitely i can find but i i do one i just simply said i give excuses i, I said i don't have money if the person who give the opportunity simply let me go that mean the person don't know how to create the agency just imagine if today my father or my mother or my relative my love for anyone in the hospital in emergency situation that should in emergency situation if they the doctor said within 24 hours you need to do the operation it's cost 10000 usd the doctor say within 24 hours you have to done the operation it cost 70 10000 usd if you fail to uh, pay the 10000 usd within the morning itself you lost your loved one what do you will do what do you will do definitely you, you will say uh, i give me one week time is that correct no right or else you see okay no mind let, let them to go i don't bother you, you will say like that if you love if you love one someone in inside a critical stage no right even though you don't have money even though your your pocket is empty no matter what no matter what situation you are i am guarantee tell you you will find the 10000 within the within the morning itself you don't know you don't know where to go find you don't know how you going to find but you will definitely find that because you know the value of the person you know the value of the urgency if you if you that particular time you can create you can you can get the 10000 usd means my dear friend in future we don't want that kind of situation that's why we get opportunity now so the same urgency you put here if someone say no means create the urgency to them if still they don't want means let them go in this world not not everybody become millionaire in this world not everybody become millionaire there is a people still chosen for working some people there is a people still chosen for working in uh, petrol station there is a people still choosing for working in any industries but there is a people always ready to get the opportunity to become a millionaire find for that people because that people will have the desire to change together with you and that people have the desire have the urgency to become a successful we need that kind of people you wouldn't you, you you won't get easily that kind of people that's why i'm saying at least you have to ready to face thousand rejection then only you can see the real success but and uh, 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 until you finish the thousand don't think that at the thousand you, you you have to keep on doing the rejection rejection my dear friend when you when you complete thousand rejection definitely you will see a lot of success a lot of good results you already i might be you become millionaire if you ask me in super life i already achieve uh, certain good things right dr maha already achieve certain good things chi mohan already achieve certain good certain good things all the main leaders already achieve certain good things in super life but still they haven't complete thousand rejection yet you can ask every leaders every top leaders they haven't completed their thousand rejection yet might be 200 or 300 or even 500 with the 500 dr maha can already achieved triple crown diamond chi mohan already achieved crown ambassador too all the main leaders already made very good income even though they not reach the 5000 rejection yet but how about you have you already done your 5500 rejection or have you already done your 1000 rejection don't ever wait for anyone this is your platform this is your career this is your industry super life is our platform so make it this industry very seriously and fight for your birthright so here every week every friday we having coaching session with dr maha make use the coaching session and utilize to your members don't only you are learn today and just apply for yourself that is totally wrong every week when you learn something apply to your members and let them to duplicate and you have to monitor them whether they are duplicate or not if they are not duplicate that means your leadership is already wrong there i'm telling seriously this is very very serious if you learn every friday from our dr maha all the leaders if you never duplicate the things to your members that means your 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 track is already wrong so no point you keep on coming and keep on coming and learn learn the same thing 
if you have the learning the same thing every week is very important but if you never duplicate then it's it's not worth it so everything you learn from the leaders duplicate immediately within 48 hours you have to duplicate your members because after 48 hours the person is already already lost their momentum every human they have the momentum within 48 hours within 48 hours you have to give them the moment uh, the duplication all right so that is very important and some people are usually asking what and how to do the closing my dear friend closing is not a big deal and do you think that all the main leaders are doing closing based on their results no no such thing if you ask me are you uh, varun uh, you always showing your car you know showing your income showing your result is there anybody show, uh, got see my income statement until now i don't show my income until now i never show my income what should uh, why why i need to show my income because super life already have a such a platform my dear friend why i need to show my income to convince you when i start super life well, nobody's income to show there's no income to show no testimonials no products that the, when the time i am joining super life the company just started the product in research and development the the awards we haven't received any awards the company itself is under renovation even the marketing plan i receive in papers just i receive in papers i not even seen mask marketing plan slides not even the back, back office even started yet but that po point of time what is the what, what is the thing I, I i use for closing is that my income no i don't have income even the company don't have achievers yet how are we going to close the people the only thing you can close your marketing plan the confident level that you have even though your pocket empty my dear friend your mindset has to be thick like millionaire how big you your company going to be how big you going to be how big your goals big you have to show you have to create them to visualize that and you have to talk to current situation example today is a pandemic everywhere the pandemic is going on people are suffering for the money people are suffering people people are suffering for the job the economical is is very bad for most of the countries the world economical is is suffer right now but network marketing industry growing very well why because the network marketing value of the opportunity and we have the opportunity super life people are making very good money every single month so the closing point is very simple just create the urgency the urgency is very important to create uh, the do the closing and you can tell current situation pandemic is a very good closing points for you and also you you can tell even though you don't have income my dear friend you can leverage your leaders you can leverage the super life full potential platform when you show the right way to approach the marketing plan my dear friend if you so if you show a marketing plan there is a no better marketing plan than super life in 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 my network marketing experience that is good enough for you to do the closing when you do the closing make your emotion into their closing how to do how to do that and when you start before you start the presentation get get a, at least a 5 minute two way communication with your prospects get them some point from them talk to them what they're doing and everything and get some points so maybe they will tell uh, i i i'm working but my salary is not enough maybe i'm working but my i never paid my car rental i have some problem here i have this i have that you get the points before you start the presentation when you do the presentation every single uh, plan you show you give one solution for their problems indirectly when you did the full presentation my dear friend definitely they will join under you because you already give all the solution for their problems and end of the day you have to tell why they join why they need to join and what they going to get don't show that if they join what you get that is not a right way that means you're just focusing their money that is not a right way focus on their achievement what they going to get next 6 month what is they going to achieve whenever you go to the presentation always think about their achievement how you going to create them as a leader and how you going to close the leader 
don't ever think if this that this person join under me i will get direct sponsor 350 usd this is totally wrong because your only intention to focus to direct sponsor which is if the person join i will get the direct sponsor you not focus the person i want to create this person to become a triple crown diamond you have to think like that you have to think to in their point of view how they maybe the the person desperately need the opportunity if you give the opportunity definitely will take if another person give another company definitely he will take because he desperately desperately need the opportunity but the thing is who going to give the first who going to give the right platform today we have the right platform and you have to give immediately and give them immediately the the solution the solution is our platform that's how i usually do the closing and you can you can you can put your 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 low fund in front of your opportunity when you see the opportunity and see your family together why you you need to start this opportunity for 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 what you need to achieve this might be is your low fund maybe is your parents maybe your wife maybe your children anybody but there is a someone the reason you need to achieve put them in front of your opportunity definitely you will you will know what is your your closing point all right so that is all that is what i'm always doing that is what i'm always teaching to my people that is what i'm always teaching to all the leaders all right so always believe always create the agency always have the confidence in you always focus 100% and don't ever fear with the rejection always believe this rejection means recharge your action rejection means recharge your action my dear friends all right so with that thank you so much and i owe to back to mc uh, lady boss darvina all right thank you very much shiv for your really wonderful time because um, what i experience in your uh, session is that it's not about the technique but your emotions so it's really a great one because i learned a lot as well so this is it guys and the next session is going to be i want to call back to the dr maha to wrap up all this thing all right over to you dr maha all right thank you thank you uh, if you all have any q and a uh, question and answer session now if you have any questions from um uh, mr varan you can ask now and um before we wrap up the night with uh, i'm going to give you why super live is the best complete program okay i'm going to show you a video by uh, suggestion by one of the uh, top uh, uh, top personality or management trainer in from us uh, so i'm going to show you that video for about 8 minutes video and then i say based on that 8 minutes video why super live is the best uh, career now to look at okay um you can be anybody now but this is the best time to do super life because it combines all the nine thing that is suggesting okay um the suggestion by one person here janice you the uh, janice uh, of uh, to do a role play i it's not practical for us to do it now here because of the number of people are here and then uh, the other thing is uh, if it's one to one we can do that if this is a role play and all that you all should do it among within your group and with a smaller group it will be more effective more powerful okay because there are other people have come to get information information is wealth and we are going to give you as as, as much as possible the information but role playing is something that you need to do in a smaller group okay and uh, the question like now we have laid back people you see in this business uh, there are three kinds of people that we attract first kind will be a consumer they just want to consume the product and they're not worried about the business that kind of people they, they, even if they don't come for the meetings they don't have to worry about them so those people they have already set their mind they just want to buy the the package or they buy the franchise just want to consume the product so i call them users okay so they use the product feel the product if they want to share is up to them the second category of people will be called retailers retailers are the people who just they may be housewives they may be um people who are beauty center owners they could be doctors and they could be medical uh, alternative doctors either medical doctors or alternative doctors who just want to buy the product and sell to their patients so this uh, category of people who are called retailers uh, they they can just buy the product and then they want to sell it's told up to them but we just want serious business builders if your people who are laid back and they are not in that serious business builder category we cannot help them you can take the horse to the water but you cannot 
force the, the horse to drink the water. Those days they say we put some salt under the horse. That's not our work. Now pandemic is good enough to give salt to everybody's mouth to force the salt, the horse to drink the water. We don't have to do that. We are not here to motivate people to do this business. And we are not in the game of motivation anymore. You see, if all of you, 260, 70 people are you, you all are motivated enough to come here to do this business. You know, the word motivation means motive and action. If you have a motive to succeed in life and then you just act on it. So we just guide you how to do the action part. And now because most of the action is taken care by social media, most of the action is taken care by technology. So that is what is helping a lot. So we are guiding you how to use the technology. On the prospecting, all that is technology is taking care. You don't even have to go out of your house nowadays. And those people who are really lazy and they don't want to do anything, we cannot help them, guys. We really cannot help them because we just want serious people. So the system says this, very simple. Every 10 people I speak to, one will listen to the business, the opportunity, listen. Three will hear, uh, uh, what do you call, out of the, the 10 I present, uh, some will just don't want to bother to listen just because my sake they might listen. And this might be that, they might be present there, but they don't, don't, don't even hear it. They will be talking, they will be playing with your phone, they will be meddling with that. You, you need to see all that body language, okay? Then there will be some will seriously want to look it and they seriously want to do something about it. These are the guys that we, are, we want to work with. And then just teach them the technology part. And that part, we, when you work with your leaders closely, they will guide you and teach you and coach you on that, okay? So, and that is very important. Collectively, we, you come here, we give you as much, much information as possible. But in terms of the, the direct training, you can work with your people directly, with your leaders, very important. But identify just two people. The system wants two. Some will, some won't. So what? Share more. When you bring when you bring prospects and the prospect the word prospect it comes from a very old a word that when people go out looking for gold they were going out for looking for gold they were called prospectors and those from that word when it, the word prospect came that means those people who want to look for gold here and you are bringing them seriously that those are prospects that's all are suspects and those prospects you must convert them to a leader and that's a challenge we have. And system wants only two, only two, not 10, not 20, not 100, not million, two. From the two, it will become four, four become that. That two are the ones who are going to be very serious with you. So some will, some won't, so what, share more at every level. And they come into a system also, you keep on sharing, like what Nick said, you keep on sharing. Even me, I still keep sharing people. Even this morning, someone, someone sent me a message, sir, I want to know more about Super Life. I wouldn't say that, oh, I've already done enough. I don't want to do. I will talk to them also. So we keep on talking to new people every day so that we get the right one, guys. So I'm going to get um, uh, one person who's asking here. Wait huh? Okay, thank you. Uh, I'd like to know, what I would like to know is, is it good to present the business in a WhatsApp group? Okay, uh, Warren, maybe you can answer this question. Is it good to present the the business in a whatsapp group okay all right so whatsapp group i'm not i don't advisable to do in whatsapp group. either you can do in a individual one-to-one -one in a whatsapp or either you can do a video call through whatsapp that is the best way for you to close the deal if you do group group whatsapp presentation there is a negative there is a positive some people will or automatically will say uh, against the company some people some people automatically against whatever you tell and there is a potential people inside the WhatsApp group. Suddenly you post, suddenly you receive the negative vibes from another people, you will you automatically get the spoil, the overall presentation. So rather than do the group presentation, I will always advise do the one-to-one -one presentation, either you can do video call presentation. Even we have the Zoom uh, advantage now. Use the use, use and make, make use the use, uh, Zoom advantage. And uh, this is the best way for you to do the uh, presentation, all right? and don't ever do group presentation. Maybe you can explain about the company, you can tell about the, what the company doing and everything in group, present, uh, in group. You can give some information, but don't ever do the presentation in groups because there is a different people, different ideas. You cannot uh, handle every ideas one shot. It will be difficult for you at the same time. There is a negative vibes will spoil your presentation. The better you do one-to-one -one presentation, or either you can do Zoom presentation, even you can do WhatsApp, uh, video call or WhatsApp presentation. 
All right, that's the best way. All right, okay. Uh, if, you see, I would just like to add on to what Warren said. Uh, you see, how do you do actually closing? Uh, the closing part, very simple. Close before you open. You know, how do I do my presentation is, I close before I open. That means if I do a presentation to one-to-one, -to -one, because time is our real asset, guys. Remember, I just want to ask a question now. You have listened to Warren. You have listened to Nick Lim. I just want to ask you a question now. How many of you, the 244 of you for listening now, in video now, how many of you, seriously, I'm throwing the challenge. If you really seriously say, if you answer this question, I will tell you, you can achieve it by end of this year. My question is, how many of you want to do USD 100,000 by end of this year? If you said, if you think you are the one, if you want to do the 100,000 USD by end of this year, say, I am. Just put I am. Okay, that means you, you or you put I. You don't want to put, don't waste your time, you just put I, okay, or me. Okay, good. Keep typing, keep typing. I, I just want that. And I tell you, this 100,000, even a new person who signs up, uh, signs up with us today can do by end of this year. Because in network marketing business, time is, time is a factor that you decide. And time is actually in relation to what you want. Actually, there's no such thing as time. There's no such thing as months. There's no such thing as that. It's, everything is now. The pandemic was, would have given us a sense of urgency. There is a sense of urgency created by the pandemic because nobody knows when our breath can stop. So I like that. I like the response from you all. You all are serious. We want serious people. And I want serious people who want to do 100,000 USD by the end of this year. Because you know why? The more you stretch, the bigger you go. Bob Proctor, the guy who made me to think big, is the guy whose foundation for law of attraction. But way before law of attraction came into picture, he taught us in 1980s. And he was, after meeting him, my life changed. I always call before Proctor, after Proctor. He gave, us the, uh, he gave us a teaching called Your Born Rich. And in that teaching, he said, very simple, the more you stretch your mind, the further the mind will go. Once you stretch your mind, your mind will never go backwards. I'll give you an example. Once I was invited as a guest to speak in a company, as a trainer for another company, an network marketing company. And I was with another friend that's sitting beside me. And then on stage, one security guard, you know, security guard in which country you come, you come from anywhere country, a security guard income is not a good income. It's not a very nominal income. And that gentleman on that particular day was earning a good income. It's about 11,000 ringgit in Malaysia. For a security guard, it's a very big income. We call it five-figure income. And he went on stage, he collected the check. I told my friend beside me, this guy maybe as a security guard, his income maybe 1,000 ringgit, or maybe 500 to 1,000 ringgit, or maximum 2,000 ringgit. But today, when he received the 11,000 ringgit, his mind will never ever think below 11,000 anymore. The mind has taught itself how to think more than 11,000 ringgit. And that's what Bob Proctor said. When you stretch your mind, your mind is like a rubber band. It will never come back to the original spot. It will always start from there. So this business, this game plan is all about stretching, guys. So if you stretch now, if you set your mind to do 100,000 by end of the year, and then if you write down that goal in that goal card, the focus card, after I'll just go a refresh on that. You write down in the focus card and you say, I'm so happy and excited that I am earning 100,000 USD by 31st December 2021 as a crown diamond in, in, in Super Life. And if you just keep putting that, looking at that, you don't even have to memorize that. I repeat that. Your mind doesn't want you to memorize. Memorizing all during our time. Today's young people like Nick Lim and all that don't have to memorize because Memory power was used, wasted by us. We need to remember a lot of information here. Today, all the information is here, guys. Information is here. So why should I use my brain to memorize? Why should I use my mind to memorize? I just use my mind to get what it wants to get for me. And that's why this is the best time for you to get one. That is why I'm not surprised eight years old, 10 years old are becoming entrepreneurs in US. So what you should do now, stretch your mind by end of this year. You're, you can be young. You can be 18 years old. You can be 81 years old. 
age is but numbers. What matters more is your heart. So how do you do this now? You have to set your goal, a big goal, very big goal. When I was in the insurance industry and I, I was an insurance manager as a, some time back, and I remember reading one book called um, The Ban Fundman Method. Ban Fundman comes from a very small, very small village in US. And in that village, the population is only about 3,000. But Ben Feldman went on to write up insurance policies as big as companies. Then people asked him, what is your secret? And Ben Feldman made one statement. I'd like to share the statement with you all. He said, have a goal big enough that it will never stop you. It gives you, gives you the enthusiasm. It gives you the energy. Then he said, have a deadline short enough. Have a deadline short enough so that you put fire under your ass. Which, which vehicle got fire under the ass, guys? Rocket. The rocket got fire under the ass. That's why the rocket goes so fast. So if you want to go fast in life, you have to put some fire under your ass. And the best way is you have a big goal. 100,000, you will never achieve in that in your life now. Why not make that this year? You can say five years, 100,000 is no big deal. I'm not talking about 100,000 ringgit, 100,000 100, USD. Have that goal by end of this year. We got now beautiful um, nine months more. Okay, they say now this month, this month is 28 days, very fast, it's over. Say yourself got nine months, you take nine months, or you just, I give you eight months. Rest of the month, you want to go and play the fool and all that. Eight months, you work like you never worked before. You speak like never spoke before. And then you invite people like never invited before. And you know what? All that you're going to do right from your comfort of your phone, right from your home. And by end of this year, you will do the 100,000. Now I'll ask you a question. How many of you again want to do the 100,000 by end of this year? Then I'll tell you how to use Warren's, Warren's technique, Nick Lim's technique again, okay? Then you say, I am ready now. Put that I am ready. I'm not motivating you guys. I'm bringing the fire out of you. Now you say, I am ready. Just now you say, I am. But are you ready? Now you say, I am ready. You're not talking to me. You're talking to the universe. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to ask Elizabeth Carew, what is the question you want to ask? Any question you ask me today must be pertaining to this youth energy, must be pertaining to what we are sharing, okay? Don't ask me other things, technical things, about products or anything. Someone want to ask me a very important question on product, I say send me a message on WhatsApp. Do not ask here because today is all about training the youth, okay? Elizabeth Carew, you want to ask a question? You have put your hands up, I'm, I'm, I'm meeting you. Quick one. Otherwise, I'm going to put your hands down. Okay, or maybe you can ask me a question later once you can unmute yourself. Okay, I see a lot of people ready. Now, I tell you why Superlive is the right business. Okay, Hilda, Hilda is, I know. Okay, Hilda, you want to ask a question or something you want to share? Quick one. You want to ask a question, Varun also can, or you want to tell something also can? I'm unmuting you. Dr. Maha, you are going to teach us how to close before opening. Yes, that's what I'm doing now. I, I'm going to teach you how to close before opening. But before you close someone, you have to open yourself. You can never close a person if you don't open yourself. I cannot sell an idea to another person if I have not bought the idea 100% myself. I repeat, I can never sell an idea to another person if I have not bought it 100% myself. And how do I close before, I, I'm going to share with you, how do you open? But since uh, Janice has asked me this question, I'm going to share with her. You see, number one, when I go and see someone or when I talk to someone, I go for quality first. Quality, quantity, service. That's my, 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 my what do you call, uh, slogan for my success. I go for quality first. Then I go for quantity. And then I go for service. If someone comes to me, if the guy, I help him to become a quality first. How do you make a quality? See him to do more than what he can. When I was young, when 22 years old, I was made to see more than what I am. How did I do that? How was I taught by my mentors that time? I must thank all the mentors who guided me at the age of 22. They say leaders are readers. To lead, one has to read. And then they also taught me that you can get anything in life you want if you help enough other people to get what they want. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. These are the foundation for this business. Number two, 
do not do not sell until you are bought if there is one person that you need to sell guys you are not supposed to sell the public that's not our work i was trained by a guy uh, from uk and he told me once our job is not to go out there to look for people to sell our job is to go look for people who are ready to buy i repeat our job is not to go out there to look for people to sell our job is to go out there to look for people who are ready to buy so you don't know who is ready to buy until you approach the people your job is to identify the people is to ready to do this business with you but you don't know who is ready and that is why you need to do some mass marketing first like what entry robin says massive action massive results for the first man in the business if you want to make this man your powerful man go on massive action share 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 like like never shared before and five things you need to do can you all write this down five things and that five things those days we have to do it going outside but today you can do this through zoom you can do this through your home number 1 If you all want to write this down, write this down. Darwina, you can write here as I'm writing it. Okay, I'll give you the short form first in number five times. Then I'll give you the real ones. Number one, STP. Darwina, put number one, STP. Okay, number two. Number two, STP. Number three, STP. Number number four, STP. Number five, STP. Number six, STP. Okay, I already number five. Don't go number six. Number six, I can go, but number five is good enough. Five things if you can do. Like Warren said, you need to talk. Do five people every day. Five things you need to do. Nick Lim said that he every day he talks to new people, but that five things you need to do. Number one, see the people. See the people. Number two, see the people. Number three, see the people. Number four, see the people. Number five, see the people. You see, this is people business, guys. You can sit down at home, and you can. If you don't do anything about it, you cannot win the game. You need to meet people. How do you meet people? Then you can just sit down in the house, talk on Zoom, talk on that. See the people, see the people, see the people, see the people, see the people. Then what do you do when you see the people? When you see the people, number one, show the show the plan. show the, the the philosophy okay first I, i i put there the first p should be show the philosophy what is philosophy building a legacy for next generation that's what super life company's philosophy when i came in that why i like to play why i sold the idea to myself to do this business when i saw that word building a legacy for next generation that's what super life's philosophy is and that really touched me so because i want to leave a legacy i'm i when i joined this business i was 55 years old i want to leave a legacy when nick lim is talking when nick lim is presenting i saw me talking like i saw him talking as a young version of me that is my legacy going to talk in in him so that is what i like for super life i want to leave a legacy so that philosophy if you buy you can buy for any philosophy guys some of you want to do just just want to enrich other people So, what is the philosophy that you saw in this business, or what the company philosophy is? So, first, it is see the people, share the philosophy, and then after that, show the plan. Show the plan. You see, how do you show the plan? Show the SLWC Global System Plan, not Super Life Plan. The SLWC Global System Plan. In that system plan, we got the product, we got the plan, we got everything. so share share the power of the slwc global then next one seek for partnership seek the partnership stp seek the partnership you see how do i seek the partnership i said i got a fantastic idea here you more than anyone else will appreciate this idea but i don't know when i was thinking about this idea you are the person that came to my mind and i am looking for a serious business partner to do this business but i don't know if you are the one until i sit down and talk to you can i have can i have half an hour to 45 minutes with you and share this opportunity with you with no obligation can i have 30 minutes to 45 minutes and share this opportunity with you with no obligation so you see i saw i i want to see the person 
and then I share the philosophy, then I seek the partnership. I say, I'm looking for a serious business partner. I don't know if you are the one. Just give me 30 minutes to 45 minutes of your time. Then at the end of the 30 minutes or 45 minutes, there are two things you can tell me. Either you like what I'm showing you and you want to do something about it. Then let's talk about how to do it. Or if you, you don't like what you are seeing, then we can be a friend. So you can be my partner or you can still be my friend. The choice is yours. So you see, when you do that, they will you're opening up their mind, opening up them saying, and you're giving them value. That means you are actually listed them as a serious person. And I am very serious when I'm presenting what I'm presenting. I will never present to a guy who is not ready to see what I'm presenting. I will not simply try to go and shoot people and then try to go. I'm, I'm a quality person. I go for quality first. So I seek that. Very important, guys. Then those people who buy the idea very seriously, they will bring quantity first. They will bring the numbers for us. That's why Nick Lim, when I asked him to do the presentation, Nick Lim said, oh, Dr. Maha, I cannot speak to people. I'm so scared. I say, you're not going to talk to people. You're going to talk to the computer. You're going to talk to that. Just keep talking. Just practice, 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 practice. Every day talk. Then he did that. Today he's talking. He's bringing more people than I am. When he's presenting, he's getting 500 people. When I'm presenting, there are 200, 300, 400 people. Young men like him presenting for 500 people. That is an achievement. And that is quality, guys. And he speaks in Mandarin. Mandarin is the number one language in the world. That's why he attracts so many people. 500 people are coming to him. So I made him to bring out the fear by putting to practice what I taught him. So you want to do this, practice, 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 guys. Practice. Okay? So how do you approach people? How to identify the person? I have something great that when I saw this first, I was only thinking about you. But I don't know if you're ready for this until you give me some time, 30 minutes to 45 minutes to share this with you. At the end of the presentation, you can do two things. Okay, I will do all my best to give you 100% to your satisfaction. My presentation will be 100% to your satisfaction. And the end of the session, you can just tell me if you're ready and you want to do with me. Or if you're not ready, fine with me. Let us be friends. So when you do a presentation like that, guys, I tell you, you approach them. And when you call them or when you present to them, how do you approach that? Very simple. Good evening, Mr. Prospect. If you are a total stranger, I don't know you personally, but I came up with this idea, which I shared with quite a number of people like you. And that idea has benefited them a lot. I don't know if this idea has benefited to you until we sit down and share about the idea. Would Monday morning at 2 o'clock or afternoon 3 o'clock be fine with you? This all today, those days we used to phone. Nowadays, you don't even have to phone. See, guys, nowadays, those days, we have to go out there, look for many people. My time, it was one go and look for many. Your time now is many come to one. Many are coming to one. 233 people now sitting in my bedroom listening to me, my presentation. Where can this happen in 30 years ago? Some of you are 40, 50 years old, 60 years old, here sitting here. This is mind-boggling thing, even for me, guys. So this is one of the best time you are in the era now. Okay, so now, how do you open up yourself before you go and open up people? Okay, I'm going to share that and then one or two of these things and then we'll, we'll end the session. I'm going to show you one video to share with you why Superlife is the best business opportunity now. If you understand this, you will never want to do any other business now, guys. When I saw, because at that time we had a vision and all these four people with me that time, Chief Mohan, Chief Waran, Chief Vitya, Chief Vimalan, all were visionaries. We were zero at that time when we started because I also gave up everything. I was actually starting back my life again after my spiritual journey. All of us were zero. But from zero, we became heroes in three years because we had the vision of where Superlife was going. And today we are not selling you that vision anymore. We are selling you the reality of that vision. So I'm going to share with you this pandemic, this gentleman sharing with you why you need to go and look for a business with all these nine industries. And Superlive has got all that within one. I'm going to share with you, okay? When I was a little kid, when I was about 10 years old, my dad and I, we would go fishing. And my dad would always get on this little boat and we would kind of take the boat to about 30 minutes 
away from the from the city that was in Hong Kong, and we we would fish in in that area. And as a little kid, I would ask my dad, Dad, why do I have to get on a boat and go to this area? Why couldn't we just fish like where we are? Like why would he have to make this trip? And my dad would say to me, Well, son, that's where the fish is. And I always remember that lesson, just like the, the reporter asks the famous bank robber, like, why do you keep robbing the bank? Because that's where the money is, right? It's the same idea. As an entrepreneur, choosing the right industry is very, very critical. And there are many industries that we could get into, right? And sometimes I think we are overconfident as an entrepreneur, and we say we could go into any industry, sell any product, offer any service and provide solution, and we could be very successful doing that. I think that's simply not true. So today I'm gonna to share with you nine industries that are most likely to make you a millionaire. And if that's your goal, there are many industries that you could get into. Now I'm not talking about like gimmicks and tricks like cryptocurrency or winning the lottery. I'm talking about legitimate, proven industries that have created millionaires and billionaires. Industry number one that is most likely that will make you a millionaire, and that is financial services. Now, when I say financial services, I'm talking about the management of money, money lending, or management of assets. We're talking about the loan associations, banks, uh, financial companies, insurance companies, brokerage. A lot of those firms are very, very wealthy because there's a lot of money in money. One of the things I've learned from one of my mentors, he said to me, Dan, don't ever forget, the money is in the money. There's a lot of money to be made just by managing, handling, investing money. Michael Bloomberg, former mayor of New York, became a billionaire by providing financial data to the financial industry. Industry number two, technology. Now, you know the Google, the Facebook, the Apple, but we're talking beyond that. Think about traditional industries that you could go into, maybe by using technology, what you could do to disrupt that industry. And you can see that a lot. Now we call that disruptors, right? How could you use technology to make things more efficient? We're talking about robotics. We're talking about AI. We're talking about automation. We're talking about manufacture of these technology products or even providing technology as service. Billions and billions and billions dollars worth of value are going to be created in this particular sector. So are you a technology entrepreneur? Industry number three, health care. My mentor, Dan Penny, the $50 billion man, talks about this a lot, health care. Because people are willing to spend a lot of money to live longer. So health care I'm referring to could be assisted living, senior homes, uh, pharmaceutical, any products or services that will help people to live longer life and stay healthier that's very, very good industry to get into. Industry number four, real estate and construction. United Nations forecast predicts by 2025, the world's population will increase to almost 8 billion people. 8 billion people. By 2050, it would be almost 10 billion people. That's 10 million people on this little planet by 2050. Now, what does that mean? Where's the opportunity? We all need a place to sleep in, to, to play in, to entertain, to go to, to shop, real estate and construction. Industry number five, education. With all the changes, all the technological changes that are happening, knowledge becomes very, very critical. People want to learn, they want to equip themselves with skill sets, and that's the space that I am in, in the education and software space, because I could see the opportunity happening right now in front of us to connect individuals, people, professionals, to 21st century skills and job opportunities. Now, within education, you could also have products and services and software that helps people in many different ways. So we have traditional education, but we also have alternative education, education outside of the school systems, right? And it doesn't always have to be academic. It could be other types of education that could help people to lead a better life. Education, huge business. Industry number six, entertainment and recreation. Beyond than just education, people want to be entertained. In fact, people demand entertainment. You look at all these big companies getting into the entertainment industry. Now, what am I talking about? Movies, animations, productions, special effects. There's so many companies going into that industry. Amazon Prime, of course, you have Netflix, Hulu, right? Disney Plus. I could go on and on and on. Why? Because this is where we are going. Now, on the other hand, thinking about industries who help and facilitate this particular industry, but also we're talking about influencers, YouTubers, Instagrammers, right? Now for the first time, you have people in that industry 
Stand-up comedians could make millions doing that. Before you couldn't. Most of the time they struggle. But now we are in this age of people want entertainment. So if you can find a way to create a product or service or company around this to service this particular industry or to service this demand, you could also make millions. Industry number seven, transportation. Now, human beings, we like to travel. As now with the internet, the more we see, the more. We don't want, always want to be stuck in a house. We want to go out there and see things. So air transportation, aerospace, huge opportunities. But also think about now people buying online and shopping online. Where do you think the opportunity could be? handling shipping packages. I'm not just talking about FedEx or UPS or DHL. Think of something like Uber Eat. People like stuff being delivered to them as now people are shopping more and more online. This is a huge industry just by being able to provide service or product. It could be as simple as providing software to help these companies to manage the inventory better, right? Or the shipping handling better. That could be easily a multi-million dollar business. Industry number eight, energy especially renewable energy. So going beyond than just oil and gas, now we're talking about solar or wind, right? So with billions and billions of people, we all need power. We need more power to power up our devices and our technology. So that's a huge industry. If you could come up with creative solutions that could solve this problem, not just millions, it could be billions of dollars. But you need to have certain team, you need to have an understanding of how this whole thing works and you need to be able to work with government to how to execute this properly. But there's definitely a lot of money to be made in energy. Industry number nine, food. Now with billions of people, not only we need power, right? We need a place to live in, we also need to eat. So in the food industry, that's not gonna go away. With so many people on the planet, we need more cost-effective, more efficient way to produce, create food, right? To produce food, to feed so many people. So what do we need to do? Again, maybe you can come up with some solutions that could go into these certain industries. And I'm not just talking about fast food because with so many options, people want healthier choices as well. And to me, supplements, health type products, uh, all those products fall into this category. If people are eating it and taking it to want to have a healthier life, yes, that falls into this as well. So those are the nine industries that I believe that are most likely to make you a millionaire. But it also combine that with your skills, your background, and, and your know-how. Getting into the right industry is one thing, but you also need to be the right person in the right industry in order to make it big. Does that make sense? If this is the first time you're watching my video, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and turn on your notification. All right. You saw what he said. And um, let's list down the nine industries talking about, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove to you before we end the session today, that, that whatever he's sharing about, out of the nine, almost three quarter of that is in super life. Okay, what's number one? Can somebody write down? What was the number one industry you said is good for this current time? Darwina, can you write down? Can you all remember? Okay, financial services. Okay, financial services is the first one. What is financial services? Most of us only think about insurance, only think about uh, only think about uh, mutual fund, we will think about you know um, banks and all that. Superlife is also a financial service company. Why? Our plan. We are teaching people how to attract money, how to manage money, how to attract money big. We are teaching young people, 18 years old, 19 years old. Darwina, I just want to ask Darwina a question. Darwina, how young are you? You are in the college. How young are you? I'm 23 years old this year. 23 years old. Are you in the college? Yes, yeah, still going to finish it. Okay. How much have you earned in college now? Earned? While being in college now? Uh, you mean through Super Life, right? Super Life income. For a monthly around two thousand dollars. Monthly about two thousand USD. Yeah. Okay. So monthly two thousand USD. So which is now your part time? Your college or your super life? Super life is the part time. Super life is part time. Okay. You see, part. I always tell people, come in full time, but don't fool the time. Many people say I'm full time in super life, but most of them are fooling the time. Why? Because remember what he said. What the after quoting all the nine industry, he quoted the right last thing. He said, you need to know the skills, you need to know all the knowledge, you need to know the information, and you need to be the right person of the right industry. So you see, you can be full-time here. Many people are full-time, I know, in Super Life, but they're not making money like a part-timer makes. Why? Because they're fooling the time. They're not being the right person in the right place. That's all. Secondly, secondly, you see, she's a college student. 
and she has learned how to earn the money, not using what she studied in college. We have been trained, like I was trained in earlier days, all those people who are in the 60s, 70s born. We are trained how to only use our education in school to make money. And most of us become very miserable in our life because what we study, we never apply in our life. All those people who are in education, you know, you never apply what you study. But here, while she's studying and fulfilling, because education is very important. I will never ever uh, agree with anyone who says money is more important than education. No, education is important. You need university education. You need high level education to give you a better standing in society. Yes. But income is also very important. Now she learned how to attract money. She learned how to make the money. What she did, what did Darwina do? She made herself of economic value. Well, you see, the economic value decides your income, guys. You can be a best father. You can be the best mother. You can be the best child. But if you don't have economic value, we cannot become an asset to the family. There are two things we can do for a family, we can do for the society. Either we be an asset or we be a liability. What is asset? What is liability? Liability got two words there, little ability. Little ability. If I'm if I got little ability to do something, I'm a liability. So if you don't if you don't have economic value, you become a liability to people. If I don't have, I can be 59 years old to my family. But if I don't have this capacity to produce, I'm a liability to my family. At 59, if I'm sick, I'll even become more liability to the family. But thank God to Superlife, thank God to network marketing industry, thank God to my 22 years old, when I saw this opportunity, I can never be a liability because I can express myself, I can use that, and I can produce my economic value. Are you with me? When you have entrepreneurship, even when you fail in anything, you can rise up again. And that is what we want you to be. So learn how to be an economic value. And that only you can get respect in the society, guys. Education is just for you, for your personal thing. But society values us when you have economic value. So financial service here, Superlife provides excellent financial service to people. While a student in college, anyone, that is I'm talking about young people, people like me, there are a lot of people who have retired at 55 in Malaysia. But many of the people who are retired because of the lifestyle now, they can live up to 90 years old. 40 years of their life, what are they going to do, guys? They may have lived for 55 years, 40, they may have lived 25 years, they study, then 30 years they work, and then they retired. Now 40 years, if they are, they don't have the income, they can become a liability. When we were a baby until we are 21, why we are given a chain? With the with the with the with the key, um, Darwina King Jordan, that can you just uh, tell him how to get the sound? Uh, you see, when you are a baby, you are, we all are dependent on parents, and then from the time when we become 21 years old, we are given a key because we become independent. What gives us the independent? Our income. Our income decides our independent. But when you are 55, whether you are going to be independent or dependent depends what you do from 21 to 55. Many people don't do something value there, then 55, they still become dependent on their children. That is why today we have professional gatekeepers, professional, uh, professional gatekeepers and professional babysitters. Why? Parents who are dependent on children, they want to do back something. They take care of their, their children. They take care of, when their children come back home, they open the gate, all that. Why? Because they don't want, they don't want to be dependent on someone. The, the husband might help, uh, sorry, the, the son might help the mother or father. The daughter might help, but not the daughter-in-law and son-in-law because they are not obligated to do that. And sometimes we don't want to be obligated to them. But if they learn how to become independent during that age, what happens? The economic value will be there. And today, they are not. you don't have to do that physically. The system will do that for you. You can be financially free, guys. So a lot of senior citizens who are 55 years old, 60 years old, they still can produce. They still speak good English. They are teachers. They are professionals. Teach them how to do super lives right from their home. So young people from college can do this. All the people who can do this. So financial service, we are providing powerful financial service for people. What was the number two he wrote? Can somebody tell me technology? Superlive is 1 million percent technology, guys. 
We are teaching people how to start local, go global using smartphone. And smartphone is nothing but technology. This is technopreneurship we called it in 2017. Today I call it Zoompreneurship. So we are using, today my life has become so much easier at this age because I don't have to travel a lot. I move from company to company, uh, sorry, I move from country to country. I am sitting in my bed, sitting on my, my, my bedroom. And that is why, because of technology. Sometimes within one day, I can go into 10, 20 countries, not me alone, all the leaders. We can be in Papua New Guinea, we can be in India, we can be in, in Nigeria, all in nanoseconds because of technology. So teach people technology, guys. And that's why we say Super Live has got number one, financial services, number two, technology. What is number three? Healthcare. Super Live is nothing but healthcare, guys. But healthcare is not sickness care. Please, I get you, please get me. There's not someone who was trying to share with me about the product and this thing and, and some complications and all that. I say, why do you need to play a role of a doctor? I am not a medical doctor. My doctorate is in business. So do not play the role of a doctor to go and take care of sick people. That's not our job. Healthcare versus sickness care. Healthcare means take care of people while they are healthy. Wellness. Wellness means prevention is better than cure. Superlife product is 99.9% .9 is for wellness, guys. But at the same time, if some sick people come, we just tell them, try for three months or six months. You go on Google, you can go on YouTube. There are a lot of testimonies. People have taken it. They have used it. We don't know. Try for three months or six months. So you don't play the role. My patient, I got a patient. Some people will send me a message. I got a patient. I got a, a person. Why? We are not doctors. How can we call them patients? We just say someone has got this, whether can we use? And my standard answer for all that is try for three months or six months. But our role, our, our responsibility now in this pandemic, young people need our product for healthcare. Young people need this product for wellness. Young people need this product to keep them healthy. Elder people who are healthy, they need to take care of their body also. Young people like me. Then people need to keep, keep that, keep going into the wellness. So that's what products, that's why Super Life has gone to 60 over countries and doing extremely well in a very short period of time. Super Life has got financial service, Super Life has got healthcare, Super Life has got the health, uh, finan uh, financial service, technology, and healthcare, guys. What is the next one you say? Entertainment and recreation. In fact, I'm entertaining you all. This is a part and parcel of that. Then that entertainment and recreation now, people sitting at home now. They want to hear something, and then we are presenting to them. People are now very frustrated. A lot of people, a lot of people in the world are going through depression now. You know why? Young people especially. Young people now, they cannot express themselves in the movies. They cannot go to pubs. They cannot go out there and just let them loose. At least divert their attention to come to do this, do this business. And then we entertain our, ourselves in another level. When the pandemic goes off, then we can go back again. So young people, at least you can divert their mind to come and do this. When they are focusing on this, they don't worry about their entertainment and all that. After this, I'll go down, I will go and watch uh, my favorite movie. All the movies when I was 22 years old, I missed, I'll watch now. I love Indiana Jones. I don't mind watching it again because when I was 22, I was working so hard. I got no time, no time to watch all the movies during that time. So now I sit down and watch because I got Netflix and uh, there. So we can entertain ourselves also, okay? Next is what? Real estate and construction. We are going to contribute to real estate and construction, guys. We make young people now to become property buyers. Vimalan, a guy who started with us at 20 years old, he was not even a college graduate. He was not even a, he was a total school dropout. Doesn't have any skills. I remember when Vimalan came initially, he can hardly speak English or so. Any, uh, any uh, people that he has got uh, higher than him, he will call me, Dr. Maha, can you please help? I'm telling you, this is all reality, nothing to hide. And then I've presented for him, I've helped him. We all have same team. So I go out and help him. But today, Vimalan speaks, doctors listen. Vimalan speaks, engineers listen. Vimalan speaks, the world listens. And within three years, his life has changed. From nobody, from total school dropout. Today, he drives a Audi, his favorite car. He, drive, he bought his family a, very, a villa, almost a two million. All did within three years, guys. So what I'm saying now, he has been contributing into a real estate. And that is what we are helping real estate business to boost also. 
Okay, so we are also helping in real estate. So you can buy and be participate. And then when you have the money, you also can go into real estate business. Who can stop you that from that? Okay, education. What I am doing every Friday is nothing but actually what I'm doing every day is nothing but educating people, guys. You see, education is not, not uh, pumping in information on people. Education is bringing out the best out of people. That is was when I was young. I'm going to finish in another five minutes time. When I was young, I used the word success for me was success is what you, what, this is my own definition I had when I was 22, 23 years old. Success is not what you see in others. It's what you see in yourself with the help of others. You look at the word success. When I came, when I, when I went into the insurance industry, I, they wrote for me the word success and they put that dollars and cents. And then they, they said, you come and do, come and get success, you get a lot of dollars and cents. But when I did my own presentation, I said, yes, you'll get the dollars and cents, but the U and E is very important. Bring out the U in you and bring out the enthusiasm in you. And that's what we are doing here. We are educating people to be more than what they are. That's the education we are giving people. Okay, next, what is that? Can someone tell me what was next? Education is, after that, they spoke about energy. Energy is something that we are giving people now. And the other energy, they can participate when they have money. When I, when I talk to young people, when I give training, when I was training network marketing companies, sometimes there will be 22 years old, 18 years sitting down. I will tell the 18 years old and 20, 20 years old, do not listen to this as a network distributor. Do not this and do this and do, do not listen to my presentation and do not listen to my talk just to become a businessman here. Maybe you can be a CEO of your own company. Maybe you're going to be the future magnet, a business magnet. Many people who started in network marketing business in 1960s in Malaysia are tycoons now in Malaysia. So you could be one of them also. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I showed you, I covered you that Superlife has got all that that's the current current business that's needed by people guys so if you see this the big way you if you see this the right way you can be a big way with us so now can you i asked you this now question i am then i asked you are you ready now i want you to tell me i am crown diamond i am crown diamond i am crown diamond in super life in 2021 i want you all to say i am crown in in, in 2021 just write that down after listening to all this, with this confidence, can you be a crown in 2021? I assure you, at least minimum 10 of you can be a crown by end of this year. Minimum, that's I mind this thing. But you challenge me that every one of you become a crown by end of this year. Anything that we do, we want to do with a purpose. And we want you to come here with a purpose and go out with a purpose. Okay? So I thank you for all the time you spent with me. I took just five, 10 minutes from your time because 10 o'clock we are supposed to finish simulation time. And I hope you all have enjoyed. And today's session is impactful section by powerful speakers like in Nick Lim, who is practically doing this, whatever we are doing. And then by Coach uh, uh, Chief Warren, who taught you how to do that, and also myself. Okay, and now I'm going to give it to Darwina on behalf of all the young people and what she, she has to say. And then we end the session now, guys. Okay, so you all want to write something here, and I'm going to open up to the, the, the um, under the publicly, y'all can write down now. Whatever you feel like writing, okay? What y'all gain here and all that, okay? So go ahead, write, guys. Super life, life is super. Well, and, and Darwina, do your powerful closing. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So uh, actually, I'm, my energy has been boosted up because due to this, um, I was having a, a, I can say, a very anxiety time because due to my assignment. Um, I was quite having a, a little time to focus on this kind of, uh, uh, what do you call the super life and stuff. But this energy, which is like this weekly coaching session is the one uh, who boosts me out all the time. Not only this coaching session, but also the previous day we are conducting weekly. All right. So uh, thank you. I really want to, uh, I just really want to show my gratitude towards the, uh, Dr. Mahadevan. Okay, and um, Chivaren at the same time, Nikim, for the powerful, powerful impact of this uh, weekly coaching session. I literally can say it opens up of mine. Okay, uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but uh, it opens my mind where, where I recall my, many of the things that I supposed to do for past few days. All right, so I also learned a few uh, mistakes. 
okay, from the link limb because I was a little bit like having a rejection as well. All right, but right now I just clear it out and then whatever the things that I need to uh, uh, clear, okay, whatever the things I need to correct, I, I already have to know the way. I'm pretty sure this is also a benefit for each and every you guys. Just remember, all right, whatever the things that you guys are learn is the technique at the same time is the emotions as well. So, so just remember, when you connect your business with the emotion, emotion is actually an energy, okay? When you create the energy, you create the momentum. When you create the momentum, that's where you get into action. But all of this will not happen until you make the decision, all right? So each and every of you guys for like 165 members are here. You guys are the real winner because you guys are stay patient and bear with the, all the stuff, okay? All the knowledge you guys already gained in your mind. You guys are real winner. And I really wish you for each and every one of you guys to hit the crown diamond. So I'm going to take the challenge as well. Okay, so I'm so excited. And yes, uh, if you guys have any question, you guys can uh, talk as well. But uh, till that, life is super. Return me give a teacher and the going dominator. All right. Okay. So thank you so much. And um, one, I'm going to allow one or two person to just share. Okay. If y'all don't share, then y'all feel that you're not uh, complete yet. So any one of you feel like sharing, you can share what you gain, share, just pertaining to what you gain from here. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, get, if you just put your hands up one or two person, you can share guys. Okay. All right. Just one person. Anyone want to share? I'm going to call Mr. Luis from uh, US. Okay, Mr. Luis, you can share. Can you unmute? Can you unmute? Yeah, go ahead. Hello, Dr. Ma. Hello, sir. Hmm. Thank you very Bye. much for this wonderful opportunity. And this has been awesome. I'm really glad that uh, today I, I had the opportunity to join the training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you uh, rightly said, you can only grow when you plug into the system. And I am whom I am now because of the Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting has made me who I am. Because this pandemic, all those of us who are thinking outside the box are happy. Now, getting rich is all about mindset. You send a uh, Zoom link to people, they are happy. They, they are giving excuses. There's every excuse not to succeed. And like uh, uh, Chief uh, Warren said, give opportunity to people. Tell people the benefit. Tell people how you are there to help them. And that is all that I'm doing now. It is not easy here. You don't have to wake up 5 a.m to join the meeting. Because if I don't join this meeting, it is like I've lost something. You know, I've missed, I've missing something. That is why I make sure that always I'm present. Dr. Maha, thank you very much. Super life, life is super. Life is super, super life, life is super. Thank you so much for everyone, okay? And uh, you see, we call in super life, uh, in Dominator, go win Dominator. Let me just give you why we say go win Dominator. Go is short for God. Each and every one of us are God's energy. We just have to realize the energy. So that's why we say go. Win. The word win means within. Everything that you're looking for in life is within you. It's not outside of you. So win is within, within, within. So dominator here is not to dominate people's life. We are not here to dominate people's life. Dominator means I dominate my thoughts, words, and action today. I dominate my body, mind, and soul today so that I can be better tomorrow. So go win dominator means... All of us can win in this business. We just don't do that, okay? So, Laura here, one last one, Laura. You want to share a quick one? Yes, Laura. Some, uh, can you hear me? Oh, uh, and what I, yes, I've learned a lot today. I'm like yes. a baby in the industry today. Hmm. I'm so impressed by our young people doing great things. Yes. And, it, and I hope that others will be willing to learn that it's not about the age, it's about what you have to offer. So be willing to learn from everybody yes. that is ready to give. I found out that I haven't done anything. I have not even touched, I've not even started. All I thought I was doing that was good was nothing.
compared to what I, what the kind of the type of success that I desire in super life. And I want to appeal to everyone that is listening here that if you really desire anything, be ready to learn from everybody. I've learned. I hope you have. And not just listen, but do something about it. I wish everybody the best. All right. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Dr. Ma. All right. So it's been I'm a happy. wonderful presentation. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's rock and let's go crown this year. All right. Go in Dominator. Super Live Live is super. Okay. So I'm going to get Tony Tony Leo coffee. Okay, come share Tony before we go. So you all are excited? Let me, I'm also excited. Let us uh, share. Today is Friday night. Let's rock and go. Okay. Go ahead. Tony there. I unmuted you. Maybe I yeah, go ahead. Wait, I unmute him first. Okay. Tony Lee Coffee, yeah, you you can share. Sometimes they find it difficult to unmute. Can you unmute yourself? Okay, while he's trying to do that, I'm going to get uh, Caroline to unmute. Okay, Caroline. Okay, can you quick one share from you, Caroline? I know Caroline is from uh, Saudi Arabia. Caroline Vitonze. Okay, go ahead. So good news for y'all. We have got our Crown team has managed to get our Dubai to be successful with the STC 30. I congratulate Crown, uh, Crown team people. And uh, so we can even sell business, we can do business in UAE legally, okay? Congratulations. Go ahead, Karin, quick one. All right, good evening to everyone. Hello, mm -hmm. Newtons is my name, but from Uganda, not Saudi Arabia. Okay, Yeah. but you are staying in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, from Uganda. All right. Thanks a lot, Dr. Maha, plus mm -hmm. the team you always adds a lot of value to my reasons to why I should stay persistent and consistent. Mm -hmm. One thing today I've learned most, by the time you've asked to that lady, like mm -hmm. the amount she she make within a month, then I've got to know that most of my times are fooling myself, that I'm working, that I'm just fooling time. Mm -hmm. So I've got to know that. Yes. Thank you a lot. Good evening to everyone. All right, Carolyn. Thank you so much. Okay. So if you can ask yourself that question, that's good. Because like uh, most of think that we are doing something, but we can do much more. Okay. So let us not fool the time. Let us not uh, pass the time. You can be part-timer, but don't pass the time. You can be full-time, but don't fool the time. Let us give it what it takes. Okay. And let us rock until we hit our crown. I'm going to get these people, I know, like... Um, uh, uh, okay, let well, me see whether she's there. Okay, all right, okay. And um, so I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone. Thank you for a wonderful session. Thank you, Darwina, for being such a wonderful host. Very soon, I want young people to take over what I'm doing now. I, I'm going to rock until I I, I hit uh, Crown Diamond, okay? Uh, my, sorry, my, my Crown Ambassador. I'm going to rock with y'all. And then after I'm going to go on the second pace of my life. I'm going to write books and I'm going to enjoy life. Okay, so while you all are here, bring as many people as possible, and then I'm going to give this time for you all. And when I start uh, doing other work, and then I'm going to slow down, I'm going to bring in young people to take over. That's why I'm grooming young people to do that. But Superlive is going to here stay as long as Superlive is here, we are here. But I know Superlive, the way Superlive is being managed by the powerful uh, company, the way Superlive's uh, products are coming up with people, Superlive is here to stay and here to spray. So let us work together, let us build together. This is the moment, now is the time, and let us rock, guys. Pandemic will go off if you just work your heart, and no pandemic can stop us. Just give our best in what we are doing, and give our best to help people. And I thank Nick Lim also for wonderful sharing. I thank Warren for wonderful sharing, and I thank all of you for your wonderful contribution today. So Super Live, Live is Super, and let's say Super Live, Live is Super, and go in Dominators, okay? Super Live, Live is Super, guys. Okay, super live, live is super. You can unmute. Super live, that life. Life is super. 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 Life is
Laura, she is the super one of the best today. Laura, do the command. Let's go fake it until we make it. Yes, yes. This one today, my super entertainment. Super life, life is super. Life is super. Life is super, sir. Life is super, life is super. Life is super, life is super. Life is super. Life is super.